February the 18th, 2023. Guys, you're looking at images from our sun. This is from the Solar Dynamics Observatory, and it's giving us Earth-facing perspectives. Yesterday, late, we had a X2.2 flare right in this top left corner. That's the strongest, I think, so far of this solar cycle 25. And uh, there's a couple sunspots that are concerning on the sun. Both are magnetically configured as far as opposite polarities for X flares. Strong uh, uh, M flares also, but check that out, guys. It lasted a very long time. I'm backing that up. But the length of it uh, matters because that's how long the upper level of our atmosphere was uh ionized they had radio blackouts things like that that happens instantly it takes a couple of days for cme to get here but that uh that flash you saw travels at the speed of light those are photons and that's what happened here a different satellite called the uh, soho lasco 2 and you'll see coming into the late on the 17th there is the explosion but notice that it went out in all directions that's why we're having an earth facing uh component to it there was a second one this morning right there on the 18th again it was a long flare they um you can see it here on the solar flare detections from the uh, goes 16 x-ray flux chart very long live flare just uh again that in increases the length of time you're exposed to that radiation Confirmed the CME is coming. Yesterday's X2.2 class solar flare produced a CME and it has an Earth directed component. Chronographs aboard the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, that we're looking at here, recorded a lopsided halo emerging from the blast site. Now, we look, you've got two cameras on SOHO the blue one, which has the much wider view here, and the red one we looked at earlier. The flank of the CME will probably strike Earth on February the 20th. Geomagnetic storms ranging from a minor G1 to a very strong G3 are possible after the CME arrives. NOAA analysts are currently modeling the CME's internal structure and its path. The refinements to the forecast may be made depending on their results. So we we'll watch that they have not put it into a CME tracking model yet. But we do know we're dealing with the 20th sometimes at that point now what's happened is the sunspot that's coming around that top left section there is where we got that strong x flare it still has a 15 percent chance of more x flares there's a very high percentage of strong m flares which are right under that and uh in the center here moving to the right in the upper half of the sun that sunspot is large and it also has uh, the capability of x flares basically you're dealing with uh, positive and negative component components there uh, as far as a magnetic makeup and they can arc together and that's where you get that arcing uh, x flare there and that's what this is what we're looking at guys um, not only that we got problems going on overseas in bidenville that i'm going to do another video on uh separate from this one i'll mention it briefly on youtube i'll probably have to put most of it either on rumble or patreon and i'll let you know about that when i get it done but guys again we are watching now uh when you're dealing with these x layers like that it always compresses the atmosphere it always puts pressure on our tectonic plates depending on where it strikes the earth we already know the plates are under pressure. There's over 40,000, maybe 50,000 now dead in uh, the turkey quake. And they're still pulling people out of the rubble, guys. But I'll update you on the situation in uh, Hunterville. And uh, we'll go from there. Keep an eye on this. It's a heads up. Be safe.